Alright, well here we go. Well hello my friend Josie. You haven't missed much except for me bumbling with all my electronics that just have not wanted to work tonight. Okay, so let's go to Romans 3, 20 through 24. And now my phone is going to start. Okay, somebody needs this lesson. Maybe it's me. It may be me that needs it. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. So we have all sinned. We have all come short of the glory of God. But by the grace of Jesus, through redemption, we receive forgiveness and um, we receive that amazing grace. And like I said, it doesn't end. It's not like, well, I'm done with you today. You know, you had grace yesterday. You can't have grace today. That's not the way that grace works. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Because we can mess up every day. And I'll probably uh, mess up every day. And uh, as humans, we do, um, we do make mistakes. We make wrong choices. So anyway. Okay. Let's move to the next scripture, which is going to be Romans 5, 8. This is kind of like part of the Romans road. Oh, I love all these pop-ups that come up in my computer. They so annoy me. Okay, Romans 5, 8. It says, But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Um, so Jesus died for us while we were sinners. So because of his death, burial, and resurrection, he can offer us salvation and amazing grace. Amazing saving grace. Well, I think I'll read further down. I just saw something that I liked. Um, well, I'm going to read this. I'm going to start with 1. Um, Romans 5, 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. Oh my. I, that's another thing that pops up continually. Okay. Uh, and patience, experience, and experience hope, and hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Peradventure, peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. So I really like reading all of that instead of just one verse, like 
it told me to read, it made a lot more sense because again, it talked about faith into His grace and um, that we can rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. There was a lot of good stuff there that was skipped over. I might read too much, but I want to make sure that I get all of it. Okay. Let's see what is next. Romans. Oh, Romans 6, 14. For sin shall not have dominion over you. For ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey? His servants ye are to whom ye obey. Whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin. But ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered to you. Alright, so again, grace grace uh, my title on this says sin and grace and uh, verse 1 of 6 says what shall we say then shall we continue in sin that grace may abound God forbid how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Okay, I don't see anything more about grace in here. But isn't the grace of Jesus amazing? It is amazing. And one thing that is amazing about it, you know, just like this shirt, your your past sins and your shame does not have to define you once you are saved through Jesus. You are a child of the one true king. Okay, so let's read 11, Romans 11.6. Eleven, My music keeps stopping. Every, everything is like on minimal battery. Um, I don't care if AccuWeather. Everything's being charged while I do this. Okay, 11.6. And if by grace, then I think I'm going to read. Yeah, I'm just going to read here. Uh, 11, 6. And if by grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. Um, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that should not see, and ears that should not hear, unto this day. I don't know about y'all, but... I see a lot of that. I see that people cannot see spiritually the way that we see things and people do not hear the same things that we hear and it's because we have the Holy Spirit that gives us discernment and that helps us be able to have open spiritual eyes and open spiritual ears where a lot of people do not. Okay, but they can. They can because Jesus' grace is available for them too. So they can have that. They can have that grace. They can accept Jesus as their Savior. And then they will have the amazing grace. They will have the discernment by the Holy Spirit because that is the gift that Jesus gives us. Okay, so I think we're leaving Romans... And we are going to 1 Corinthians. Yes, we're going to 1 Corinthians. 
1510. My day was great, Josie. How was yours? Are you are you feeling better? Because I've been praying for you. And for YouTube, I want to take a little bit of time to explain that my computer would not come up. And so that is where my camera is for YouTube. So I'm sorry. You're just kind of like jumping in the middle. You missed the prayer. You missed a lot. But um, you got most of the scriptures. You got most of the scriptures. And you just missed the prayer. And you missed me messing around with my computer and explaining that I was messing around with my computer. So you didn't miss much. Okay, so um, 1 Corinthians 15.10 It says, But by the grace of God I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain but I labored more abundantly than they all yet not I but the grace of God which was with me therefore whether it were I or they so we preach and so ye believed now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen. So Jesus did raise from the dead. And because of that, because of that, we have grace. Because of that, we have an offer for salvation through Jesus. And there is no other way to receive salvation except through Jesus. He is the only way. Okay, so 2 Corinthians 12, 9 says this. My music keeps cutting out. Okay, so this is Paul talking about the thorn in his flesh. And so starting in 8, it says, For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. So, the grace of Jesus is sufficient for us. And when we are weak, our strength is made perfect through Jesus. I don't know what the thorn in the flesh was that he had. Right now, my thorn in the flesh is this sciatica which I watched lots of YouTube videos about. Oh, I am so tired of these pop-ups on my computer. I just need a new one. Okay, so we read that about uh, the grace of Jesus being sufficient for us. We read Romans. I'm saving Ephesians for last. Um, so I think we need to go to James now. I'm trying to go in order too, and I don't have it marked. So, sometimes I do a good job at that, and sometimes I don't. Well, actually, 
There's a Hebrews before James. Hebrews is before James, I think. Well, actually, Titus. Titus is before both of them. So Titus 2, 11 through 14. Two eleven through 14 for the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust we should live soberly righteously and godly in this present world look for, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works. I love this. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God in our Savior Jesus Christ. I so look forward to seeing that so look forward to seeing Jesus in the clouds. I don't know whether that's God's plan for me or not. I want it to be God's plan for me. But God is in control. So he'll decide. He'll decide and it will be fine. Okay. I don't know why that's like that. Okay, so let's move on to... Hebrews 4.16 that says let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need so let us come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need This phone made me mad when, before I bought this one. It would always just lose the internet. And I was always having to restart it. It was very annoying. Okay, so next will be, uh, are we down to Ephesians? I don't think we are. I think Ephesians. 2, 8 through 9 will be our last ones. Yep. Ephesians, which we'll have to go back a little bit. To Ephesians 2. For by grace are ye saved through faith and not, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Wherefore remember that ye being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who were called uncircumcision, by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Okay, so we are saved by grace through faith. And we cannot save ourselves. And we are not good enough to uh, enter heaven on our own. We have to come through Jesus. Jesus is the only way. He is the only way. So if you would like to accept this gift of amazing grace. I'm not sure how I'm going to share that tonight, but I'll find a way. My phone. My phone that's charging is making noise now. Ah, this is a this is a bad technical day. I guess I need to get in here two hours ahead of time. Okay. 
How do we want to do this? We did a ticket to heaven last night. The night before, we did an invitation to heaven. Um, let's do this one. Let's do the ABCs of Jesus. This is the most simple one that I have. Okay, so do you know the ABCs of life? God created you to experience a full life here on earth, and that is John 10.10. 10. And He wants you to spend eternity with Him. 2 Peter 3.9 To become a Christian, you simply need to admit you need a Savior. We've all disobeyed God. We've sinned and earned separation from God, which is death. Romans 3.23 and Romans 6.23 No matter how good you are or how hard you try, you can't work your way into heaven. Ephesians 2.8-9 We just got through reading that. By grace through faith, and it is a gift from God. Through Jesus Christ, it is the gift from God. Believe in Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 Commit your life to Christ and confess Him as your Savior. You can believe in your mind that Jesus exists, but to have a relationship with Him, you must ask Him to be your Lord here on earth and your Savior eternally. Romans 10, 9 says that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. Alright, so this is a super simple prayer. Jesus, I have sinned. Thank you for dying for me so I could be forgiven. I trust you alone for eternal life. And in Jesus' name I pray, Amen. So we have to admit that we need a Savior and that we are sinners. And we have to believe in Jesus Christ, who, who Jesus Christ is. And then we have to confess Him as our Savior, and we have to commit our life to Him. So if you said that prayer, then welcome to the Kingdom Family of God. The angels are rejoicing in heaven. I'm hot in here. I've got my fan going. The angels are rejoicing in heaven. And uh, your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And so if you want to learn more about Jesus, then read the Word. We've been talking about the Word and why we need to read the Word daily. Start in Matthew and start learning about Jesus. And pray to God every day. And find you some praise music that works. Mine's not working tonight, so I'm taking my thing off. Because it's just circling the drain here. And it's making me angry. And it's reminding me why I replaced it with the phone that I have now. Which doesn't do this. So I'm turning it off right now. And turning it back on. So that um, it will reconnect to the internet. <laughs> okay. So this was my quiet time this morning. Hey Josie, are you feeling better today? And is your co-worker better? Okay, so this was my quiet time this morning. Good morning God, good morning child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings. New opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new beautiful day. And I said, thank you, God, for another new day of mercies and blessings. 
new opportunities to share your truth in the gospel of Jesus. A new beautiful day, God. Thank you for bringing my daughter to me to visit with me. So my daughter came and worked at my house today. So we got to visit a little bit. I got to pamper her a little bit and get her her favorite pizza and get her a, a big old bottle of Coke because they didn't have the small ones. Anyway, it was nice. She was super busy. Okay, but it was it was good to see her. Thank you for all of my blessings, God. And he said, Child, the dominoes are falling quickly. Soon all truth will be revealed. Keep your eyes and ears open for it. Be aware of what is going on, child. Soon people have to choose what is right before what is right before them. Many are clueless about what goes on in their government, so many are compromised and paid off to vote a certain way. Corruption has infiltrated most of your government, child. Keep sharing my truth and the gospel of Jesus. Keep being obedient to me, child. And I said, thank you, God, for meeting me this morning. I always feel better after our time in my favorite place to meet you. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. I love you too, my child. Now go be obedient to me and get things done today that need to be done. The reunion is soon, so be ready, child. Keep moving forward with Jesus and hold your head up. You are my precious child. The reunion will be so wonderful. I will love seeing all of you again. Cling to the truth, child, only the truth. And I said, Maranatha, God. So, there's just so much going on right now in our government. And I'm very thankful to be where we are, where we live. Although our southern border concerns me a bit. But this has happened before. This happened before with Obama and we had to close our border because there were just too many people coming across from other countries, not just Mexico, but Venezuela and other countries that any other time, I just, I think they need to find a way to make it to where people that want to come across the border and be good Americans, not cartel people, not uh, people that child traffic kids from Mexico and other countries. The, the good people that want to be citizens, they need a fast track to help them get their citizenship. I believe that. Oh, you still have, you still have mucus I know it's it's not good. I had that too. I had I would go to bed and the drainage was horrible. I hated it. I would go to bed with a cough drop in my mouth because I just didn't want that drainage. I didn't want to taste it and I wanted to keep my throat to where I wouldn't develop a cough. So I needed a drink. I'm sorry. Okay, well, I think I've done everything that I came to do. I came to talk about Amazing Grace, and we talked about Amazing Grace, and I'm so sorry about my technology problems that I did not plan. Um, and I shared with you my quiet time. I shared a salvation message. I think that... Um, I think I did everything that I came to do. Alright, so let me give you God's blessing. It's not mine because I can't, I can bless no one. Just like I can save no one. Um, 
The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. We all need peace. We all need love. We all need unity. Our country needs a lot <laughs> right now. But I'm not going to... I'm not going to get a strike on either one of these platforms, so I keep things very generic. And if they read between the lines, then so be it, but it won't be because, um, it won't be because I do it on purpose. Alright, so do you have anything to pray about? I'm, I'm praying for you. Um, is there anything else we need to pray about? Faith, family? Oh, you might. You might. If you have bronchitis, you might need a steroid or something. Are you going to go to the doctor? You probably need to go to the doctor, Josie. And maybe get an antibiotic or something, too. I know there's a lot of uh, stuff allergy-related, even outside of COVID, that it seems like it's like COVID, but it's really not. It's allergy-related. It's um, because of the cedar. It gets really bad in March because of all the wind. That's why I try to stay in a lot during these windy months. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and pray. I'm going to pray for you to feel better. And um, I'm going to pray for Faye's family. And I'll just, I'll pray some other things too. God, we just come to you and we're so thankful, God, that through Jesus we have amazing grace and that grace doesn't end. It's not like today our grace ran out. It's like we'll have grace again tomorrow. That's not an excuse to stay in sin, though. We need to repent of our sins and just we just pray that you would forgive us of our sins right now. And... Uh, we just pray, I lift up Josie to you, God, and I just pray that you would heal her body and help her to feel better. Help her to uh, be able to breathe better. Help her not to cough. And uh, just give her the time, if she needs, to go to the doctor and get some um, antibiotics or maybe a shot to help her get over it. But. Uh, we know, God, that you can miraculously heal. Sometimes you do choose medicine, though, to do your healing. And we just trust you in that. We just pray also for um, Faye Finley's family, God. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength for them. And we thank you that Deidre's baby is doing better. Deidre and her husband's baby is doing better. We also pray for Melissa and her baby, God. We just pray that they are doing better. I haven't asked Josie. I'll ask her. But I just pray for them, too. I think you just laid them on my heart, too. And, God, we just pray. We This is such an, an uncertain time, God. But we can trust you with everything because you are on your throne and you are in control, God. And you know, you know things, God, that we have no idea of. And you don't want us to know either. We know that your ways are higher than our ways, God, and your thoughts are, are better than ours, God. And we just trust you fully with everything that we have. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And we just want to walk in your ways, God. We want to read your word and walk in the ways every day, God. Every day following Jesus as close as we can until we make it to our final destination. 
of perfection, God. We just pray that you would help us to be in your presence more and more every day and that you would help us to testify to the good things that you've done and that you would help us to encourage others. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, for your friend, I'd also like to lift up Josie's friend to you, God, that is sick also. And her co-worker, we just pray, God, that you would heal her body and that you would help her to feel better also, God. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. How about um, Melissa? Do you know about Melissa and her baby? Are they doing better? Is Melissa out of the hospital? I mean, is her baby out of the hospital now? Also pray God for uh, Josie's sister that's sick too. Yeah. Just pray that you would heal her body and that um, maybe they can both go get a shot. Sometimes it takes steroids or penicillin or something really strong. We just pray that you would give them the time to do that if that's the way you want to heal them. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. Uh, what about Melissa and her baby? Are they better? I don't know why I'm swaying. I'm not even listening to music. Okay, that's good. Well, praise the Lord. So she's out of the hospital now. Both of them are out of the hospital. I have a gray hair that's just flying in the wind. Okay, well, I'm going to get off of here so that I can... Um, Go tend to my son. I don't know where my husband is, but he hasn't made it home yet. And, um, got to go feed my child. Well, Josie, you go to the doctor if you need to. Surely your boss would understand if you came in a little bit late. Alright, well, God bless uh, all of y'all and your families and uh, pray for my friend Josie if you watch this pray for my friend Josie she is my faithful friend that comes and listens to me and um, that way I'm not alone all the time okay um, oh they are home well that's good well praise the Lord praise the Lord yay um, so have an awesome rest of your night and an awesome tomorrow and um, much love and cyber hugs and good night.